Hello everyone, I'm Brazen Eagle and thank you for joining me here. So, today we have an article from the Daily Mail that is, at this point, at least a few days old. So, shy and awkward student 19, who googled how to make a friend, then touched a schoolgirl 17, on her arm and waist while trying to chat to her, faces jail after sex assault conviction. Wow. Student Jamie Griffiths, 19, searched how to make a friend on the internet. He attempted to talk to a 17-year-old girl as, he, as she walked to and from college. She told court his contact had hindered her application to Oxford University. Durham University undergraduate was convicted of two charges of sexual assault. Griffiths said he was very anxious and signed up to social media to make friends. So, a shy and awkward student is facing jail after he touched a teenager in an attempt to befriend her. Jamie Griffiths, 19, googled how to make a friend, then came into contact with a 17-year-old during two attempts to engage her in conversation. The victim burst into tears during the second encounter and went to police with her mother claiming Griffiths would have touched her breast had she not moved away. She claimed her schoolwork suffered as a result of the contact, leaving her unable to sit her mock exams and apply to Oxford University because he touched her arm in a very non-threatening way. But Griffiths, who lives with his parents and now studies at Durham University, denied two charges of sexual assault, claiming he was shy, anxious, and, of course, awkward. He said he had clumsily approached the girl in an attempt to make a friend, but the words didn't come out. Griffiths was convicted at Manchester Magistrates Court and will be sentenced later this month. The offense carries a maximum sentence of 10 years jail if dealt with at a crown court and he faces being ordered to sign the sex offender register. Wow. The incidents occurred between October and November last year, 2018. While the pair were studying A-levels at a secondary school in Nutsford, the court heard. The girl, now 18, said she had been walking home when she encountered Griffiths at a railway bridge. She told the hearing, I saw him facing a hedge and I thought it was really weird. As I walked towards him, he suddenly swung around so he was facing me. As soon as he moved, I moved and said, stop. And he touched my arm. I sort of jolted out of the way and went into the road to avoid him and he very quickly walked away. I think it would have been on my breast had I not moved. When it first happened, I didn't think much of it. I forgot about it. I forgot about it because I had my exams and just thought it was weird behavior. Yeah, I guess there's another picture of him. She said she encountered Griffiths a second time. He suddenly moved to walk in front of me, looked me straight in the eye, touched me on my side, and walked off. It was quite a while, three to five seconds. He smirked at me, he didn't stop, he just touched me and walked off, and I broke down crying. It was quite traumatic. I struggled for a couple of months afterwards. I was applying for Oxford at the time, and I found going to Oxford a stressful thing. It just makes everything a bit scarier. If there's a guy walking towards me by himself, I just start to panic. It was more shocking that someone thought they had the right to touch me as I walked down the street. Griffiths, who had been volunteering at a Barnardo's charity shop, told the hearing, My intention was to make a friend. All my friends had left, so I was lonely. I just wanted to speak to someone. She was walking towards me, and I recognized her, and I knew that she was a student at the school. I didn't say anything, but I really wanted to. The words just didn't come out. I touched her, but I believed it was the arm I was touching. I smiled at her. You know, I was just trying to be friendly. I tried to get her attention, and she ignored me. Sounds pretty... This sounds really, really normal. <laughs> touching someone's arm to get their attention, I would have thought was normal. I was looking for a friend, Griffith said. He has since signed up to Facebook and Instagram in the hope of making, of course, new friends. He added, I would say I'm very, very anxious, and I don't naturally make friends, although I really try to when I looked up, trying to meet new people and make new friends. One of, th one of the things I read was to start off with a joke. I have always been a very anxious person. My friends all seem to really know what to do, and I never really asked of them how they did it. I have always been more stay at home with my parents, and loneliness is all-consuming. I really needed someone to talk to at the time, and my intention was to make a friend, but I clearly didn't go about it the right way, and I am sorry for the misunderstanding. I tried to speak to her, but I just couldn't. My anxiety kicks in, and it makes it impossible to say anything. I would hate to make someone feel uncomfortable or scared. Maybe it's time to, to try to make friends another way. 
His lawyer, Claire Aldridge, told the court the victim did say, I think it would have been on my breast had I not moved, but what she thinks might have happened isn't the issue. Are you dealing with someone lying in wait in broad daylight, or are you dealing with an anxious and awkward young man, someone who struggles to make friends by his own admission? He is a particularly shy, anxious young man who spends most of his time studying with his parents. But Prosecutor Victoria Norman said, He intended to touch her breast area and was waiting for her. With no evidence. Noting both approaches took place in isolated areas, she added, An attempt to make a friendship with anyone surely starts with a wave or a hello. Magistrates told Griffiths, The complainant's evidence was very clear, logical, and without embellishment. We can think of no motivation for you to touch the victim other than sexual. That's right, because all men want is sex, apparently. Had she not taken evasive action, the assault was likely to have been even more serious. The first assault can be recognized as opportunistic. However, there's more evidence of premeditation in the second. Oof. Okay, then. Wow. So, some kid. Kid. Jamie Griffiths. He's extremely anxious. And he attempted to make a friend that was female. And she drastically overreacted. Now, if Jamie here was very, very attractive, this wouldn't be an issue. I wouldn't be talking about this. If he was very attractive, the girl would have been like, sure, yeah, touch me. But he's not. He looks like an average kid. But should he go to jail for this? Absolutely not. Some males out there really just don't know how to make friends or how to interact with other people, and especially, especially with females. <clears throat> Now, I'm sure we don't know everything about Jamie here or even the supposed victim, the female, but throwing Jamie in jail for a crime for touching a girl's arm, I gotta say, that's a bit much. Should he have touched her? No. But we don't know the entire interaction. From the article, it says that as soon as Jamie moved the victim, or the girl moved as well. He said stop, and Jamie touched her arm. Who knows what could have actually happened? Were there cameras there? Apparently not. That scenario could play out many, many different ways. Many, many, many different ways that we just don't know. Is he weird? Yeah, probably. We're all at least a little weird to a degree. But you can't jail someone for being weird, as far as I know. But, you know, of course, they did have a second encounter, and he was smiling, and she said he touched her. Not on the boob, or not on the arm, but touched her on her side to probably get her attention, and then she walked off crying. Just like, like a simple poke, probably. You know, according to her, this was so serious that she was struggling for months from these two encounters? That seems a bit too far to stress over two encounters where a guy poked her or touched her arm. Seems a bit much. Yeah, he's weird. Yeah, it was a weird interaction, but two months or a few months to, to cry and stress over this? Yeah, yeah, I'm not believing that. If anything, you know, Jamie shouldn't have tried to get involved with any females. Many of us should understand that. Females can and will throw you under the bus if it's possible. They'll take whatever they can get from you. Prestige, money, resources, anything. Now, I'm not saying that males won't do this, but after Pound Me Too, it's almost a death sentence being around them. You never know what can happen when you're around a female. You just don't know. It's interesting, though, to hear that the supposed victim said that Jamie would have tried to touch her breast, at least in the first encounter, if she hadn't moved up here. But how does the girl know that? Does, does she read minds? She can only assume things, but it never occurred. Jamie said he heard that to get someone's attention, you need to touch their arm or their side, and he did exactly that. It's unfortunate that the magistrate thinks that men only want sex or sexual access to a female and cannot reason that some males, especially younger males, find it or find difficulty in meeting and creating lasting friendships and relationships. How much mentorship do men really get nowadays, especially in 2019? He was probably born in the year 2000, 
which doesn't seem like that long ago, but the lack of social skills is becoming more and more apparent to me as a person who's in education. But, you know, I can see why he thought that it might be good to establish a friendship or establish friendly relations with a female instead of a male, you know? That's probably because Jamie, of course, is very anxious and may have believed that other males do not want to be his friend, perhaps, you know? Maybe Jamie thought it would be easier to find a friend in a female, but then again, we don't know everything about the situation. You know, if anything, of course, this will affect Jamie Griffiths greatly. We are looking at an individual male who sees that his country, the UK, will tear him down and make him, make him feel unwanted and like trash. They will throw him under the bus. Society doesn't care about men. And of course, this will be a growing problem in the future. I'm sure this is not the only case that will be published. And there's probably other cases that go unpublished regarding incidents like this. Now, of course, this entire, this entire encounter is quite bizarre, but this should be a reminder that any interaction with females could be twisted to their advantage to cause you harm, especially if you are not the most socially adept male. But, you know, you just never know in today's world. But, you know, with that in mind, thank you very much for watching. I'm Brazen Eagle, and I hope you have a great day.